what are your fondest memories of Kitale? Is that where you go to school? Is that where, what, mm. what, what uh, do you just move there alone or do you move there as a family? Okay. Mm. No, we moved, definitely we moved all eight of us. <laughs> and, the entire uh, musical ladder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I remember the trips we used to have and maybe that's why I love traveling because yeah. I've traveled as a child, long distance travels because yeah. we'd be put on a train, the same train that's been revived right now. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, of course, they could only afford third class. Mm. So we'd be huddled in this third class coach. I remember at around that age of four or five years, you know, my mom would even carry a stove because it, the trip would be like two days because mm. the train would come all the way to Nairobi and then we'd pick a bus um, to now Bunyori at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it was, I think because we grew up, Everyone was doing that. So I, I, maybe I was not exposed to privilege. Mm. So I didn't find ourselves as poor as mm. such mm. because that was the means of transport for most Kenyans, mm. uh, what they could afford. Um, so growing up to, in Kitale, same thing. Mm. You come up as a middle class, maybe lower middle class. Mm. And uh, we went to school, to the same school where my 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 mom taught uh -huh. so uh -huh. so there wasn't room for misbehavior mm -hmm. you know in those days um, the cane was was frequently used mm -hmm. uh, by neighbors and parents alike alike right yeah you're a so, community child yes community sure. child mm -hmm. um but i think um so in terms of schools mm -hmm. um she took us the best and that's mm -hmm. one thing i really honor her for mm -hmm despite everything, and I'm trying to do that with my own children, that mm. despite anything, everything, I invest in the education because mm. that's the legacy. And she kept on telling us, mm. uh, both of them, mm. they kept on telling us, this is the legacy we have. Yeah. We don't have property as such, so mm. you, it's education. Plus, mm. of course, she used to threaten us mm. with Kiboko if we come with poor grades. Mm. So we'd, um, uh, we went from... I, I noted that we went from schools that were better off to schools that were a bit, um, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of standards. Like in Mombasa, we were in Loreto Convent, mm -hmm. which at that time was creme de la creme. The, yes, mm. you're being taught by these uh, sisters. Mm. Uh, you are mixed, there were so many mixed races in going to that school. Mm. And then you come to Kitale, mm. and you know, you are going to a public school. Mm and um, it was just quite a distance so mm. we used to hike lifts those days hiking lifts was uh it was safe yeah, yeah. you just put a thumbs up yeah. and uh, someone someone picks you up so you is. save your one shilling yeah. in terms of transport yeah um we were there for so i went to this school called milimani primary mm -hmm. for maybe a couple of years mm. then she got transferred to uh, a school called top station mm -hmm. And Top Station was an interesting school, and I remember uh, it was this. It was like a community school. Mm. It didn't have doors. It didn't have windows. So it mm. didn't matter which side you were coming into the class or leaving the class from, because they were all gaping, mm. gaping holes on the walls. Mm. And I remember on Fridays, we were some of the few privileged children who even had shoes. Mm. And on Friday afternoons, and I like joking that as people, you know, students in Kinumani, junior, were maybe swimming and, you know, those who can do horse riding were doing that. Mm. As guys would go home, because we'd go home for lunch. Mm. And, uh, you know, the girls would come with jerry cans of water. Mm -hmm. And the boys would come with uh, samadhi. Samadhi is cow dung. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Saturday afternoon was spent smearing the floor. Oh. Uh, of the classrooms with the with the cow dung yeah. so that it doesn't have it. yeah dust mm. Mm. yeah so that's the type of school they went to mm. and uh, from there went to alliance so mm -hmm. i usually tell people it's not the so yeah you your background may be you know very very extremely stressful yeah but i think it's about the attitude yeah and she ensured that um of all her all her eight children went all the way to university mm. So you particularly yeah. had good grades that allowed you to... Yeah. Was it a selection? Was Alliance like a selection of the... of the, So in, in, in grade 8, in class 8, you, yeah. are, you, you have this option. So was yeah. it your first top selection? Yes, it was. It mm -hmm. was. 
We were in that time, it was Moy's era, mm -hmm. and we had this thing called District Focus. Mm -hmm. So he had introduced this thing where you, they'd pick the best students, mm -hmm. and not necessarily on grades, because I'm yeah. sure if I had those grades in Nairobi, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have gone to a national school. Right. Yeah, so I think that, that really helped those mm -hmm. of us from uh, some of those backgrounds. Mm -hmm to be exposed to, mm. you know, or rather to get access to uh, national schools. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. um, she did, she did ensure that we were always like two, two units or two pages ahead mm. of the teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like math, you had to know what the teacher is, like you had to be two classes ahead. So when you're going to, to class, mm. you've already learned what the teacher is going that's to learn. Really good. It's all good. I don't think no, it's good because I think that's really good. And the I power feel... of having a teacher as a parent. <laughs> yeah, I feel we were really, we, she really emphasized on academics. And sometimes I feel maybe if I had a bit of exposure on the arts mm. side, on performance, because I love performing. Mm. Uh, I love, I love the like written word. No, I can't, Artistic. I can't sing to save myself. Right. Yeah, but more of a spoken word. Right. Uh, or acting. Yeah. I love writing. Yeah. Um, and maybe that's why right now I'm doing travel mm. and I've shelved a couple of things that I was doing before mm. because I, 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 I just felt um, those are heavy emphasis on mm. academics, mm. especially sciences, mm -hmm. and very little on um, the other ones. But I think it was happening with most parents mm. at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, there was that notion that you had to get a white collar job. The, and for you. There were a couple. There were yes, the it was engineering. It exactly. was medicine. It was lawyer or yeah, pilot commerce, or, or commerce. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you'd hardly hear people say, "Oh, you're going to study music. Or you're going be to study below you." Yeah, yeah. How is that? How yeah. can you make a career out of that? Mm. So I'm glad that now those options are actually paying even more mm. than than some of these white collar jobs. Mm. And that we have within our country, mm. we have, you know, schools, universities that right. are really um, emphasizing that. that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. right. So, um, so you make this transition to Alliance Girls, yeah. the Alliance Girls, the Alliance Girls. Oh. Yeah, the first African girls school in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. So I remember. Um, so you know those days. I don't know if you're my age. Yes, I but do. Around, <laughs> around there. there. In, those, you you must have been in Alliance in the 1950s. Uh, not 50, 1995, 96. <laughs> no, I'd left by then. I joined in 1991. Oh my, okay. Yes. Right. Yes, you had left. <laughs> but I then. skipped, so I skipped two classes. In primary school? Yes, I okay. skipped. No wonder then. Yeah, I mm. skipped standard one. My my mom wanted to retire early, and you remember we are seventh born, and then there's an eighth born, so she wanted to clear the the queue. <laughs> and uh, so I skipped class one, but also I'd mentioned that I would go to a school that was maybe in terms of academic strength not as good as the previous one. Yeah. So she'd make us sit exams for both classes, the one oh. who were to join and the one that the next were. Time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, remember we are being drilled at home. Yeah. So I I skipped class one and escape class six because so, that's the time that i was transitioning to two schools wow mm. I, so why are you complaining that <laughs> no <laughs> it's a good thing it's a, okay i would say so that time i managed to cope bloomer yeah, yeah uh -huh. but um so i finished from four at 16, 16 years exactly. yeah that's what i'm thinking yeah then now i that time we had two two years to stay at home no, let, 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 let's revisit your high school before yeah. you move there.